Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. It is Friday night, perhaps maybe Fortune Friday night. Indeed it is. I've got the last one here from that batch that we're going to open up here and see if there's a fortune in there, or a quasi-fortune, or a, or a pseudo-fortune. Why? Well, because it seems like these fortune cookies have not been very fortunate with their with their sayings. It's just little little sayings. That's all they are. Anyways, let's go back in time to a couple of these comments here and see what people are saying from the past and I'm going to get into today. i got to get my boilerplate though first here. Let's see what we've got here. Welcome one and all. Good to see you guys here. Matthew Crust Life is fucking first. Good to see you. Good to see all of you guys. Tony Erickson is here. Welcome Tony. Good to see Good to see C-130. Good to view C-130. There's Niels Han Dynasty. Welcome, my friend. Good to see you all. Appreciate you being here tonight. Tom Larson is here as well. And uh, if you guys have not seen World Money Wins newest video, you're going to want to check it out because there's a link to another one. You'll be able to see his face. That's right. You'll know what I mean when you watch his newest video. Hopefully, he'll pop in here because it was pretty cool what he did. All right. Stock Jockey says here um welcome to kitty porn club the first rule is that you do not call talk about it. i can't even say i don't need i won't even say it here for obvious reasons but thank you stock jockey that's pretty good great now i'll never get to sleep tonight wish i worked for the nsa there you go the hype could it be a youtube first i forgot what this was about but uh anyway let's see here david g is here welcome glad you're here Quesadilla is the Quesa Burrito, says Pound the Drums. Welcome. Good to see Ken Arrington. All right. Very, very good. And let's see here. And we've got uh, there, Jame Unleashed. Yeah, thank you for posting a link to that. Watch his newest video about the uh, Costco gold. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Wasilla Stacker says, a year ago, my employer upgraded their money uh, vault. Long story short, I wound up scoring a TR60, a 1,200-pound save for free. Had to make it go away after two weeks of listing online, and no one came to buy it. Wow. Man, what a score, Wasilla Stacker. That's amazing. Great job. And, and by the way, uh, the, I think the first person to break the news of $29 silver in this community was J.M. Munley. She did a live stream late at night the other night. When uh, when this had occurred, uh, so check out JM Unleashed. He'll he'll do streams and videos about the precious metals market. Has some good insight as well too. A lot of variety on his channel. Good stuff. Well-rounded guy. And not to say that he's fat. He's not that kind of well-rounded, but uh, he knows a lot about a lot of things. And he also can sing as well. Yes, indeed. So check him out. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Who's your stacker? Says. Let's hope much. Such exposure will enlighten the masses to not only gold and silver, but to the many facets of real preparedness. Exactly right. In fact, who's your stacker? That very question was asked on a link from another video from World Money Wins. It just fascinates me seeing that video over there. Welcome. Yes, indeed. A crazy ride indeed, Doc. You're right. Uh, very good. Live song. Oh, thank you so much, Miranda. Uh, Miranda, we had fun with that. Yes, indeed. I, I screwed up the, the riff there. I was trying to play and sing at the same time. I'm not very good at that. Some people can walk and chew gum at the same time. I can do that, but I cannot play guitar and sing at the same time unless it's just a simple chord or something like that. So I kind of screwed that up. Thank you. All right. We are expecting some calls, some scammers to call us again. In fact, that same scammer might call us back. You never know. Uh, S. SHR construction. The slurping is distracting and gross. Oh man, well SHR construction. Let me slurp for you here. Ah, it reminds me I had coffee here. Mmm. It's delicious. You should come back because it will grow on you. You're gonna learn to love it. It's going to saturate your brain if you keep coming back and hearing me slurp. You're gonna love that. And last year you showed your whole stack of gold from the year. You said you may have bought too much gold. Do you still feel that way? Um, well, right now I'm I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of blessed that I that I uh, that I did buy that much gold, right? But I think I did overextend myself a little bit. 
uh, and I'm going to make up for it this year, hopefully. Uh, yes, indeed. So we'll see here. Uh, Silver Wolverine is here. Good to see you. Brandon Raj, what song is at the beginning of what? Brandon, what are you talking? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Tucson Bubba. Tucson Bubba. He loves the slurp. There we go. Thank you. Tucson Bubba for Sal's Coffee Slurp, the first Super Chat tonight. I'm going to give one to him in stereo. And here's Six Six Sam is with us, too. So everybody put your headphones on. This slurp is in stereo for Tucson Bubba. Here we go. I have the cookie here. I'm going to wait until we get... Uh, I'm going to... I did, forgot to say that in order for me to do Fortune Friday... I need to get 75,000 viewers in here to watch this at any given time. At once, 75,000 people here, then I'll, I'll break up in the cookie. No, I'm kidding. We'll get a few more people in here, then I'll open it up. I'd like to get whipping out for, through some of these comments first. Get warmed up a little bit before we do that, but we're going to whip it out here in a moment. All right, David Miller on my video, on uh, he's responding about the one about Costco. It's more likely Costco is selling the metals because a dealer has contracted Costco to sell it for them. Uh, well, um, what dealer is it though? Um, and why just that metal? Why not other? They are gonna. They all do sell some other stuff, but it'd be very interesting to find out. Uh, there are fairly low margins on them, but hey, it could be. Could be. The Platinum Beast is here. Good to see Platinum Beast. Welcome. Tom Larson is in as well. Zardoz is here too. Good to see you guys. All right. Let's see here. Uh, there you go. Thank you, Matthew's made 100 YouTube accounts. There you go. All right. Thank you. And uh, go for it. 129 says a return to the gold standard is a fantasy. Well, we may be forced into one, kind of like what uh, Zimbabwe is doing uh, in due course, but uh, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, in fact, I talked about it pretty much in this video if you watch it. But anyways, Homestead Aquarius just completed your one ounce challenge. Feels great to have an ounce of beautiful gold coin in my hand again. Congratulations, Homestead Aquarius. That's awesome. We're gonna we're gonna get an update on the gold challenge from another member of the community, Six Six Sam, here in a moment. But that is great news, Homestead. What did you get? Congratulations on getting that gold coin. That is awesome. Size nine is here. Good to see uh, Keith B007 is here. Exciting day for the metals markets. Indeed, it was. And so, Homestead, let me know what you got. That's great. Congratulations. Uh, Dr. Dahasen uh, says here the following. Uh, socialism for the rich, rugged capitalism, for and the law for the jungle of the rest of us. That's right. Exactly. Two different standards. Cyber Current Twitcher is here. Welcome, CCT. Hmm. So good to see you. If you want to see, oh, beautiful. Okay, okay, Brandon Raj, Raj, that is uh, uh, something I recorded years ago. It's a riff that I recorded home, recorded a few years ago. So it's just uh, something that I, I put together. Uh, very good. Thank you for the question. Uh, so yes, yeah, Cybercurrent Twitcher, you're going to want to check out his latest video too. He reviewed an absolutely stunning coin. I mean, this thing is spectacular. And he did a great job of showing it and some other coins as well, too. And if you do watch that video, you will see, mark my words, this is the second time I'm saying mark my words today. Actually, now that's the third time I've said it. Because I just I said it once in a video, and then I just said it now, and then I said it again. So that's three times today. But you're going to want to do that because he shows some boobage in this video. Oh, yeah. You're not going to want to miss that. Here we go, Silver Journey, my Silver Journey. Uh, the Tooth Fairy came to see him. I'm really not surprised to see this. They are trusting their government to hold and care for their wealth. No way I am doing that even here. If the government controlled, if it's government controlled, then I don't trust it enough to protect my financial security. Yep, exactly right. Exactly right. Thank you, Jay Monlees, for posting a link, uh, link to that. I appreciate that to, uh, CCT's channel. And, uh, mm. Uh, Homestead, awesome. Congratulations to 2021 American Gold Eagle. Congratulations. Is the type one or is it type two? Very good. Michael Phillip is here. Tom Larson saw CCT's video. That's cool. Welch Coast Service is here. Just tell us when you're going to buy Silver Sal so we can wait a day or so. That's right. That's right, Welch Coast Services. He knows about Salivate's Law, indeed. Well, stay tuned to Sunday's video. 
uh, Sunday afternoon's video because I do talk about some purchases I made, so you might want to time it for them. All right, here's a good comment uh, from Shane Jones. Says here, I just bought my first silver at $24.50, which is what I predicted would be, and actually at that time I was correct, would be a uh, the new bottom for silver. Now I'm scared to buy. I wish I would have started sooner. Well, hindsight's 2020, and you did good, Shane Jones, because in this case, hindsight is 24.50. So hang in there. Uh, just the, it's a volatile market and just buy when you can but congratulations on buying when it was a little bit lower yes indeed good to see Wilson glad you're here and let's press on here hello Silver Patriot good to see you and we've got uh, showing you the world here on this um, a video about the Federal Reserve being exposed by James O'Keefe says, I don't about silver. I don't want about silver. From 25 to maybe 30, my personal opinion is still stay with gold or 15.03. I bought one ounce Australian kangaroo for 2035 euros. Now 1204, the same is uh, 2348. Yep, it's gone up big time. It's gone up a lot for sure. All right. Yeah, it's crazy, John Bannon. Yep, it's gone up. I almost hit thirty dollars today. We was one dime short of thirty bucks. It's crazy. And Dean R says, and the Fed, the crooks are being exposed. Uh, the masses are starting to wake up. That's right, Dean. Uh, silver up over a dollar this morning. I expect to pull back when we hit thirty, as there will be a sell off, but it'll be temporary. Great video. Well, Dean, you you nailed it. You absolutely nailed it, Dean. Is Dean here? That's crazy. You nailed it exactly today. That's exactly what happened. Bad Bobber is here. Hello to you, sir. Good to see you. Welcome to Mud Vein. Spicy Booby Cools. Yes, indeed. And Two Brothers Stacking is here. Yes, indeed. Good. Welcome to Brothers Stacking. Good to see you. All right. Hello from Oklahoma from Hop and John. THS is here, too. Okay, here's an update from 66Sam on his one-ounce gold challenge. And he says this. I promised... I would watch and look at me coming through. As always, great stuff. 47th installment in Gold Envelope Challenge for an even two grand. Nice. 35 times 40, 12 times 50. Thank you, Salivate Metal Family, for the encouragement and support. Couldn't have done without you. You're making progress. You're getting there. You're just shy of a couple hundred dollars. Way to go. That is awesome indeed. It's type, type 2. Very good, Homestead Aquarius. That is awesome. And look at this, folks, from Wilson. We have a $9.99 super chat from Wilson. Thank you, my friend. By a car helper. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's I'm very kind of you indeed. And uh, that's kind of what I'm taking the extra money toward, trying to save up for a car. But yes, to tell you what. Yeah, oh, man, very kind of you. Let me give you 10 push-ups for that, by the way. Uh, I do push-ups usually. Uh, or exercises whenever uh, money's donated via Super Chat. A dollar for each one, so that's ten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we go. Nice. We got it. A little baggie on the floor that I've been looking for. A little baggie on the floor. Oh, yeah, it's great. Okay. We've got Red Crawler chiming in here. Good crowd tonight. I think we might uh, crack open the fortune cookie when we get 100 viewers. Uh, Red Crawler says this. Let me get over here. And the Fed and these commies in government. Happy Friday, Uncle Sal and community. $50 silver. Don't chicken out now. Put the hands high in the air for the roller coaster ride. Oh, yeah, and I think that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a roller coaster ride indeed for sure. All right, yeah. And Pole Vault says, I got into metals right before the boom. It's a little funny to me seeing all these people saying finally. Yeah, well, I tell you, it's, it's something. We've been watching the markets for a long time. It's been an amazing thing. And many of us are saying, finally, it's about time. But really, in reality, we've not seen the ratio narrow as much as it should have. Ratio still, 
Silver still got a long way to go to really catch up to um, to uh, the normal gold to silver ratio, or at least what we thought it was. Um, King Tiger Crown sta Estate. Will the U.S. debt eventually surpass the trillions and go into the quadrillions, or will the government have to default and declare bankruptcy in the trillions of dollars that we are in now? I, you know, it's good. It's an interesting question. I really don't know. Um, uh, I, it, it really just depends on how much people put faith in it. I think as long as our currency does better than the other currencies around the world, um, or there's not a concerted effort to grossly de-dollarize, which there is, that is happening. The dollar is under threat, no question, but that is really what's going to probably put a stop to it. When everybody else, instead of just Americans, uh, is fed up with our debt, pun intended, then that's when it will occur. Allowing the debt to go into quadrillions would just seem like, like a comically, unseriously high amount that is astronomical, not payable ever if it happens. If we're almost there, really, it doesn't have to get in the quadrillions. We can get to $100 trillion and we're already there. Very good. Mm. Well, Tyler West, thank you, sir. That's a great, a great job. Four years hit his goal of 200 ounces of silver at a, at 188 ounces. Currently, you have inspired me. Well, thank you. I'm so I appreciate that. And keep on going, my brother. Way to go, Tyler West. That's awesome. Good to see you here. Kelly Shanker is here as well. Appreciate it. Glad you guys are with us tonight as we press on forward. Uh, Ram Boyle says here. On the full gold stack, I would think that to preserve your wealth, you wouldn't be posting it on the internet for every IRS agent to see. Just saying. Well, I'm just saying this, that I can just as easily sell all this stuff, and they wouldn't have any idea. And that's a more realistic thing. Or I could just lose it in, in an unfortunate boating accident. That's the least of my worries about the IRS. Um, uh, you know, because that could be easily liquidated or moved around or something where they can't find it, or I could literally, literally just sell it. If I know they're going to come for it, even if I don't know they're going to come for it, uh, I've got to disperse in such a way that they'll never know. Uh, you got to be think about these things if you, if, if you, if you stack precious metals, indeed. Welcome, Silver Drill Pickle. Good to see you. Uh, numismatic Stacker. We all understand the importance of gold and silver. Nice to see other people out there are now just figuring that out. Exactly right. True that. Dale Val is here. Good to see you. Yep, you keep your coin dealers close. That's right, Wilson. That is important. That's going to be a lesson I'm going to be talking about in a few in a video coming soon. By the way, yes, indeed. And uh, is Two Brothers Stacking still here? Because y'all should check out Two Brothers Stacking's channel. All right, here we are. A little bit early, but here comes the scammers in stereo. I'm going to let the ring in stereo. Hello. Uh, Richard, please. This is Richard. I am here. Richard, this is Bill Woodson from Dax Capital. We spoke the other day. You told me to call you Friday at 6.10 p.m. Yeah, and you're only three minutes late, so that's pretty good. Oh. Usually usually yeah. they're much later than that. Usually they call like 20 minutes late or half an hour. In the room. You know what I'm saying? Oh. What do you mean usually? So it's just like a uh, thing you do often? Tell people to call you at a certain time exactly? Yep, that's yes, right. Welcome. That's right. Okay. Cause... I want to ask you something. I tried to send you out an email. The mm -hmm. email I have for you from my company is ty74 at AOL.com. Is that not correct? Or it's YT. It's YT74 at CompuServe.net. It's an up and coming, uh, it's an up and -coming ISP. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? So. I, uh, I at least wanted to send you out something before I called you so you get to see who we are, what we do, and all that. So I'm home at the moment, so but I told you I'd call you. And um, and I appreciate you know, that. It means it means the hemisphere to me. Really? Yeah. That's excellent. As so, opposed, because, uh, you know, if it, if it was something really great, I would be like, it would mean the world to me, but I'm just, uh -huh. it just is a hemisphere today. But hold on a second. I want to roll the dice on something in a moment. Here, hold on just one second. Because uh -huh. I've been informed that this is the time, especially with these markets the way they are, we need to roll the dice sometimes on things. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Uh -huh. All right. It is a, a pair of fours. I mean, I'm sorry. It is two fours. So that's eight. There's two fours on the dice. I'm gonna, you want me to roll them again? 
No, um, okay. I won't. I just need to know if if I send you out an email, uh, are you are uh, you looking at this moment to get any capital for your business? Because I'd like to make you some offers. Okay, this is breaking news. Just come across the wire. Yes, I am looking for uh, some fundage for the business. Not some cabbage, okay. but some fundage. I want some money for the business. That's right. Okay. Oh, yeah. And how much are you looking for? I'd like to get 120,000 smackers. That's dollars. But at the rate of inflation of 3.5%, if you call me next week, it might be more than that. So we should pad it with another maxi. And let's just say 160,000. Right. Okay? How much do you do a month in deposits? Uh, on average. How many times do I deposit? I'd probably go to the bank about once a day, so it's 30 no. days, probably. Well, we take the weekends out. Go ahead. Uh, how much do you do a month on deposits? In deposits? I just told you, I do it about once a day, but but remove the weekends from that. So if we take the weekends out, how many months or how many days are in a month? Thanks for wasting my time. I have wait, my family, my children. Wait yeah, a second. Take, but what are you asking? You asked me how, what, like about that, the buddy. deposits a month. Oh, we got to call him back. This is not good, this son of a motherless goat. He didn't even get me to... I didn't even get a chance to open the fortune cookie yet. I was going to read him my fortune. He's got to ask the question the right way in order for me to answer. He's shameless. He's at home with his family. We're going to interrupt him with his family. Welcome to the voicemail. Three, four, seven, five. All right, we're not going to. All right, come on. Let me try him one more time. No, I'm not going to. Okay, let me get live fortune cookie. This is what we want. This is why Lars Job is here. So we are here. We aims to please over here at the Salivate Metal channel. This is a customer service oriented operation here. So here we go. All right, folks. Are you ready? If you're ready to see what some hey, it looks like Pac-Man. It's like, let me take it out of here. It's like Pac-Man fever. Scammer did not bite, that's right. But I'm going to take a bite out of this. Look at that. It looks like Pac-Man, does it not? Or Linguini. What is that uh, Italian uh, pasta? All right, very good. Calling his family and says, what's... In the cookie, that's a fortune. That's a fortune, but it's not a Fortune 500 cookie. Exactly right, Tyler West. They need to get a job. Indeed, they do. These sons of motherless goats. All right, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna crack that sucker open. Here we go. Oh yeah, that was a clean break too. I love it. All right, let's see. What does this say? Is it a is it a uh, fortune? Perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. What the heck? That's just an axiom. That's not a fortune. That's just a saying. What about my fortune? Who cares about perpetual optimism? I want a fortune. I want to know what's coming, man. Man, I gotta take a bite out of crime. That's right. I take a bite out of crime. Whatever that dog's name is from that. And then it's got the lottery numbers. I don't want to... Second fortune is going to be the same as first. You know? Second fortune, same as the first fortune. Screw that. Well, hopefully these other new cookies that I got will have an actual fortune in them. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Steve LaPointe does kind of look like that, doesn't it? No, oh, man. Hey, I created that fortune. Exactly. Mmm. But I will say it does taste pretty darn good. Mm. All right. Mm. Can't believe that son of a biscuit hung up on me. McGruff, that's right, McGruff the crime dog. Hell, take a bite out of crime, that's right. All right. All right, let's get back into it. We're back in the business now. There we are, the fortune of no fortunes. Fortunately, I got through that with unscathed. All right. So we'll do others. I got a whole box of other cookies here. And hopefully we'll have better luck with those next time. All right, fortune cookies will last longer 
on counter than McBurger. Okay. Nice, nice. All right. Chinese screwed you again. That's right. Exactly. Let's slurp again. We got to slurp the stuff down. That's right. Mm. And look at that. Kelly Schenker Guitar Lessons found a fortune cookie emoticon. That's pretty cool, man. All right. Scott Wilson, let's give California, uh, let's give them California and let them spend their fake digital nothing where they can control themselves. You worked your whole life, and these smart people want to give you totally controllable currency that is digital and comes with an ESG score, and now you have to behave or they can erase you. Exactly. Exactly right. It's just, it's just insane. Call him back. Should I call the scammer back again? Should I try to call him back? Uh, press the number one if you want to call him back. Oh, man. Wizard of Oz. I mean, Wizard of Zaz. I ah, got to get it right. This Wizard of Zaz. Your optimism has multiplied the strength of the Salivation Nation. Spot price of silver, twenty-seven ninety-four. Thank you, sir. Wizard of Zaz with a Z. Thank you, my friend. I got to remember that. So let's give him 28 push-ups. I'm going to try to do that. I tell you what, I'm going to do 15 push-ups. And I'm going to round it up. And I'm going to do 14 and then 14 curls. Here we go. Here we go. 14 push-ups, 14 curls from Wizard of Zaz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Now we're going to do 14 curls. All right. Keep on curling in the free world. Thank you, Wizard of Zaz. You are the man. Appreciate it. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Because for Zaz, for Wizard of Zaz, I did two more to burn those extra calories off from that fortune cookie. That's right. Very kind. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. And we've got Richard Metcalf says here, the socialist movement in this country is real. Indeed it is. Yes, sure is. It's insane. Uh, we must make sure it doesn't take more control. The main media and several three-letter agencies are already in bed with them. Indeed they are. True that. Nate Palm Death is here. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. And Johnny Watt is still with us tonight. Good to see you. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Glad you're here. And Hoosier Stacker is with us as well tonight. Hoosier Stacker, great comment, my friend. Good to see you. And yeah, Tyler, I would, but uh, the, the voicemail mentions his number. I don't want to give his number out, or, or else I would. That'd be great. Oh, my goodness gracious. We've got a thermonuclear bomb drop of gift memberships from Lars Job. 50 of them. Boom. Wow! Across the bow, they are dissipating like nuclear fallout. It's nuclear winter of gift memberships here on the Salivation Nation from Lars Job. Look at him go. Wow! Man, amazing. Thank you, brother. I gotta do 50 exercises now. Let me let me get into that. Maybe I can get those exercises out before uh, they all are dissipated here, disseminated upon the community. From Lars Job. Man, look at him go. Wow. Here we go. Let's see if I can do, do these. Man, I tell you what. Guys are great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. All right, 20 there. I'm going to do 30 curls. Better get my get my breath back here a little bit. And we'll answer another comment or two. Uh, Sniper Logic, don't wait to buy metal. Buy metal and wait. There you go. That's definitely 
but do it from within your budget. Good point. Yes, indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Greg Gr says, "Wow, thank you again for that, Lars. That is amazing. If you received one of those, give him a big, a big uh, thank you." <laughs> Lars Job just wants to see the gray names turn green, and so does Tucson Bubba with five Salivate Metal memberships. Wow, from Tucson Bubba, look at that, amazing. Thank you. All right. The light and God these coins are representing is the false light of Lucifer. Okay. No man can serve two masters. He will either love Jesus or love money. Well, Greg, uh, give me all of your Lucifer money then, Greg. I love these pious comments like this. I get them every so often on this channel. And just throw all of your Lucifer money my way. I'll take it. It's just insane. Some of these people, you know. They come in here like they're holier than thou, and they tr totally twist the scriptures, because it's not about serving two masters. Wizard of Zaz, look at that. Wizard of Zaz has just gifted five Salivate Metal memberships, and most of, and it's almost like we have a Salivate Metal membership train, super train going on, going on here. Wow. Look at that. All right, let's do some curls. Wow, man, these are all going to turn green in here tonight. This is insane. Let's see here. All right, yeah, uh, Wizard of Zaz has returned fire, and so has Tucson Bubba. It's flanking three times. Before we get to these exercises, let's get the Metal Seer's first Super Chat comment tonight. It says, Mental Acuity Test. First correct answer wins. What famous saying about gold has the acronym ACTJING? Ooh, man. I don't know. I'll let others answer, but I don't know. Acting. Church is a non-profit. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Get into some curls here. <clears throat> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. All right. Okay. Zardos, I did see your comment. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, uh, I actually won't be around tomorrow evening. I hate to say it, or else I would, but thank you. Uh, oh man, Wizard of Oz, another five Salivate Metal memberships. I think it's the goal of you guys to turn everybody green tonight. Look at this. Wow. Insane. We have a, we have a mission here. Returning fire from yet another flank. So that's uh, 15 more exercises I got to do. Wow. Look at that. So, yeah, Zardal, shoot, unfortunately. And by the way, w thank you, Cyberview, for the $1 super chat. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. That was in as I was exercising. So, yeah. Yeah, Zardal, he came in and uh, and gave us, man, a, he dropped a, a tactical nuke on us, a suitcase nuke the other day of 20. Thank you. All right, let's see here. So more people are turning green here. Let's see here. Oh, no IQ. Boom. Did someone say train? Look at that. No IQ is on board. Look at that. Wow. Man, I tell you what. Oh, Metal Seer, a 66M got it. All that glitters is not gold. Okay. Good job, 66M. That's awesome. Thank you, Metal Seer. Hmm. Man, all right, I gotta do 20 more push ups now for sure. So I gotta do 15. Oh my goodness gracious, this is getting crazy here. All right, make him pass out, says says a platinum beast. I'll tell you what, yes, if you did receive the membership from any of these gentlemen, give them a warm thank you. Uh, that is very kind of them indeed. Let's see if we can do it here. 
15 push-ups. And then we'll have to do maybe some leg lifts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We'll do razor kicks for no IQ. Thank you, no IQ. Appreciate that, my friend. Thank you all. All right. Uh, let's get over here to um, Jay says here, I believe our whole system is totally corrupted and no fixing it. Let it collapse and start over. Weak men have created hard times now uh, for hard times to create strong men once again. That's right. It's like a cycle for sure. Oh, man. No IQ. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that, sir. Very good to see you and appreciate your support. You were the man. Snakebite is here. Welcome. John and Lonnie Baker is with us tonight. Should be a fitness channel, I know, I tell you. Although, kind of winded here. Let's see here. All right. Uh, Your Highness says, uh, let's get to this. I think by the time I'm reading this comment, I can do more of these exercises. Stand the floor, lifting his gold stack. There you go, Busan. Oh, yeah, a lot of stuff, Red Crawler. We had a lot going on here. Saw the fortune cookie. We opened a fortune cookie. Took a scammer call. A lot of a lot of stuff. Uh, there's no way I would let anyone let anyone hold my gold. Gold is too easy to hide. There's a million places around the average home that a coin or two will fit into. That's true. I read some years ago that the average time a burglar spends in a broken into house is five minutes. They get in and get out quickly, just grabbing obvious stuff: drugs, cash, guns, jewelry. If you hide your gold behind a baseboard or a light switch. Or wall space. Good point. I'm not going to read the rest of that because you make a good point. And actually, CyberCurrent Twitcher has done a video about that. Very clever ways to hide hide gold in your home, for sure. All right. Thank you, Your Highness. Let's do one more here about this morning's video about the Fed. All we need to place all our prayers and all of our dreams to come true is in Father's God, true, divine. And we all need to... The most to believe in the power of faith to move any mountain obstacles as a nation is to be able to keep our focus on all our many blessings of life's journey. Uh, that's fine. That's true. But what does it have to do with this video? That's what I mean. You know, I appreciate it. But what does it have to do with this video? I think I think it Red Crawler. I think you'll enjoy some of that. Although the scammer call was short. But anyways. Mm-hmm. All right. And Cemetery Shop. I like the drama of it. Let it roll. It is kind of interesting drama, for sure, what's going on. And we're exposing it. Uh, Silversmith, good stuff. Sal, thanks for continuing to do what you do, brother. Thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch, definitely. All right. <clears throat> Your Highness, probably some CCP official smuggling it out, uh, too, so he can get out before the crash and mobs come for him. Organized crime, indeed. Yes, very well could be the case. A fake gold, too. Uh, I have fake gold bars and coins. Nice, really. Cool, Nickel. Uh, where did you get it from? That's cool. Uh, Kevin the Weed Man is here. Good to see you. Good crowd tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, a bling, 1397. Sounds like the Fed and Department of Treasury should be sent to a permanent vacation in China. I'll tell you what. What they're doing is just crazy. It's crazy what's happening with our Federal Reserve and our government. It's all coming out in the open now. This just... Again, what happened with the Fed being exposed is pretty much what we already knew. It's just completely just laid right out for us, for sure. Our suspicions have come true. Any Oakley is here. Good to see you. Mm hmm. And Jungle Marine, I'm surprised you're using a different dollar bill on your video. I had your serial number memorized. Oh, there it is. Spoke too early. Yep, I usually show it in every video. That's this right here. Henry Rollins back from Black Flag. I'm 98% sure of it. Interesting. Wow. You didn't hear much about Henry Rollins for a while. He did a, a speaking. Uh, you know, he basically went into uh, speaking, talking as an art, like a, a rhyme or something like that. It wasn't singing. It was kind of crazy. What did they call it? There's a name for it, but anyways. Rock Hood Rock with algorithmic emoticons here. Richie Luxury with bars of gold on this one. Market report for today. Crazy day we had. 
Uh, PMG Fine Art, I was so happy to see the uh, pullback bullion banker suppression save the day. Yes, indeed, or just profit taking. <clears throat> All right, $100 bills, cool. Thank you, Red Crawler. Good to see you. Welcome, uh, El Hazara. Welcome, El Hazara. Good to see you. Two more weeks. Two more weeks of what? Let's see here. All right, very good. Glad you guys are all here with me tonight. I owe uh, no IQ some uh, some exercises. Put them in your safe. You want to find? Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, that's called um, yeah. It's a decoy. Decoy gold. Let's do some uh, exercises for no IQ. I owe him twenty. Twenty uh, leg leg lifts. Oh Wilson, thank you Wilson for nine ninety nine super chat. Thank you Wilson. I appreciate that. All right, let's see here. Let's make this happen. All right. This is the one where I do razor kicks. And I hold my butt cheeks while I do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay. Whew, man. All right, satisfied that for no IQ. I don't know if he's left or not, but anyways. Thank you, thank you. Glad you guys are with me tonight. Colonel Kilo, 12 times, both arms. Oh, man. I don't have my kilo bars out, but that would be pretty cool to do. All right. Um, Rusty Nail says, let's keep stacking real money. There you go. Stack that real money, indeed. Uh, Worth We Went says, they took profits at the high gold and silver. Wish I had traded at 8.30 a.m., $2,400. What excites me is not the highs, but the new lows. Buying opportunity, for sure. Yes, indeed, it sure is. All right, and we've got uh, Gilbert Fernandez says, This weekend will be epic in the price of God's money. Yes, definitely stay tuned uh, to this channel on, on Sunday night. It'll be very interesting to see what happens, what's going on in the world today. David G., thanks, Sal. What a day. But you know what? During flight upwards... Um, and the flash crash, my stack of gold and my stack of silver didn't change at all. There, That's right. And that's in the end. That's what it's about. Holding on to your stack. All right. Okay. No IQ is here, but listen in the corner. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you, brother. That's right. Thank you, my friend. And I owe Wilson. I owe Wilson 10 exercises. Let's see if I'm going to give him 10 push-ups. 10 push-ups for Wilson. Thank you again. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. I think I've got my workout in today. You guys are great. All right. Um, by the way, knock the loosened. I'm glad you're here. I think you're new here. The way that the gifting works is that it usually gifts those people who... Uh, who um, um, I've been here for a while, so keep coming back. You might get one. Uh, all right, very good. Millionaires real soon, says Anthony. That's right. Millionaires real soon. Can you imagine? Wow. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's right, Busan. This channel is extending my life. The more exercises I do, that's true. Yeah. All right. Uh, Rickopolis says pretty interesting that the price drop happened. When London closed, and it was the only the U.S. NYMEX markets open. Manipulation comes from the USA. USA go away. Interesting uh, thoughts on that. Although I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, I'd have to look at the timing of all that stuff and see. Um, James Scott, how much kitty litter can the U.S. Fed kitty catch? Shovel over the turd known as U.S. economy. They might cover it, but it's still. A turd and it stinks. I like that analogy. I do like that analogy, I must say. All right, very, very good. Mm hmm. I was supposed to get another scammer call me tonight, but they didn't. They didn't call me. Let's see here. 
Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to over here. Says uh, with an Iranian counterattack looming. Hard to believe the gold and silver sold off like it did today. I believe pure profit. Uh, where did the profits go to? What asset or commodity holding fiat currencies? Yeah. Good question. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. All right. We've got uh, Daniel Casey says gold is up to two up two hundred eighty dollars and seventy cents since January first. Silver up four dollars and six cents. That puts it into perspective, doesn't it? Thank you for that report. Yes, indeed. And uh, Mark Patzner says, "What about Trump saying that the U.S. will be joining the BRICS?" I've not heard anything to that measure. I don't think. I've not heard anything about that. Lars Job, who dropped that thermonuclear bomb of, sal of a Salivate member gift membership, says this. Uh, oh, man. Zardal says, Janet Yellen, Miss Faccia Brute. Yes, indeed. Faccia Brute. Yes, indeed. That's right. Exactly. All right, Lars. I'm not sure if this is legit profit-taking or just panic-selling. Profit-taking should look a bit different, but who knows anymore? The opening of the Asian markets should tell us more. Indeed, they will. It'll be very fascinating to see. But we did see that sell-off in high volumes throughout uh, the, uh, the the day from, shoot, I don't know, uh, about mid? I don't know, yeah. But, I mean, it could be something to this thing about the, um, about the London markets closing. But I can't imagine that London markets would be enough to push back Americans' trading. Mm-hmm. Ah. All right, and Honig75 says, keep stacking lots of stuff to come. Stay free. We have a great weekend. Yes, indeed. Stay free. Uh, Griffon's Friday pump and dump paper silver shenanigans. Maybe 28 will be the new support level. Yeah, appears to be. It's right around that area now. Silver almost made $30 an ounce before they signed it back today, but still $28 an ounce. Yep, exactly. Still $28 an ounce. That's right. Uh, Silver Patriot says here, let me get to this, but this here, we've got to make this thing work. I would bet that there's, that there will not be the usual summer slump in precious metals as well. Election year inflation and geopolitical unrest will keep precious metal prices high and result in dramatic movement on both directions. Stack on smartly, everybody. Yep, I think so too. Uh, I agree. It's going to be a pretty volatile summer. Andy Milla, um, Malisk. Milowski, 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 I think I'm uh, sorry, I'm, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, but thank you, Andy Milowski, $10 super chat, praying for Israel. Yes, indeed, we are. Uh, definitely. Oh, yeah, thank you, brother. Uh, we'll keep them in your prayers as they could be attacked this weekend. Thank you, sir. Let me give you 10 push ups for that. All right. Explosion of gold is not from Americans buying, but other countries. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think so, too. Yep, I think so, too. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go. Ah, oh, boy. Very, very good. Thank you, Andy, for that. Okay, let's see here. Pray for peace. Yep, Michael Phillip, I'm with you. <clears throat> and we've got uh, Abe Manzur says, the world is in such upheaval with opportunities. Wild car is in play. This is anyone's game. A loser today can be winner tomorrow. That's true. Very true. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Red Crawler, gold $2,600 if Iran gets attacked. I think that's quite possible. Yeah, Red Crawler, I, I agree. That could definitely happen. I could see that happening. El Brujon de Biotobe, Dodi says here, since everything went down, I don't think this had to do with PMs. It's about a possible war in the Middle East. I kind of talked about that in there in the video, uh, that it, geopolitics was driving the price today several times in that video. Uh, Robert Funberg says, it's like when silver just hits before $30, it goes back, and I think it's gone back to 22 now. No, it's not 22 It's almost 28 now. Platinum Platypus says here on this, the following, 
ridiculously obvious manipulation. I can see a Chinese bureaucrat sitting in a trading desk with a general and a politician standing behind him with hands on hips and arms crossed, snickering. Yes, makes you wonder. We shall see. We shall see. All right. Mm. I'm Metal Cedar, per James O'Keefe. Principal economist of Fed Reserve takes down his LinkedIn account. Uh, Arno Hismo, political bias expose a continues with more videos that will be interesting to see wow so his linkedin account is down i'm surprised i didn't take him off the federal reserve website i looked at the federal reserve website and it's still there but his linkedin account is gone wow thank you metal seer for that update eric dexter says i knew 30 was the trigger some people have been holding for a long time then 30 hump is that 30 hump is a big one it sure is yeah it's a big one for sure Domestic energy assets. I've marked your words, Sal. That's right. I've marked my words. This will be that now the sixth time I think I said it today. Oh, man. Jam on least. Very exciting times for the metals. I agree. They've rocketed too high, too fast. But that just shows there's some fire below. Exactly right. Exactly, Jam on least. Very well said. I agree with that completely. Uh, and we've got uh, Dustin Miller says this. The Fed is privately owned foreign corporation operating under color of law. But what do a bunch of sports worshiping slobs de deserve? Liberty and sound money? No. Eternal diligence is the price of liberty. That's right, Dustin. Exactly right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Very, very good. Let's see here. <clears throat> uh, this just happened. Uh, let's see here says this about this by saying flash crash do you mean the market makers sold shorts on gold and silver just to manipulate the price down to where they want it market makers make a lot of money shorting metals and they're doing it to make just as much letting it go back up that is what uh, money managers do and are always going to do that's until we have a government that works for the people not the banks yep I hear you yep I, I hear you that's uh, I understand Eli is here yep Mm-hmm. Yep. That's a, a lot of people feel that way. Homestead Aquarius on this says this. Lots of excitement lately. Um, and that was great for me. I traded at the high point yesterday and turned a profit and went into a full ounce. Yes. And Homestead Aquarius let us know one full ounce complete. The trade and a little fiat got me an American Gold Eagle. One ounce challenge complete. Way to go, brother. That is such good news. So proud of you. Way to go. That is awesome. And, uh, and the high. This is the most challenging time to do it, and you did it. And uh, six exam is getting much closer and closer to making that happen, too. Several people have taken that challenge on, and they've now gotten it. Feels good in the hand, doesn't it, Homestead? C-130, $30 by the end of Sunday night live stream. You know what? C-130, I could see that happening. Stay tuned. We'll see. Thank you, brother. Sends Pedro. I'm not even worried. I'm holding this. It's a long run game. Exactly. Exactly right. John Bannon. We live in interesting times to be sure. Yes. Stack prep away. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. World Money Wins. Great job, Sal. This is Wild Rod right now for sure. The DXY spiked today also, and that was mind-blowing for me to boast blast off. Yes, World Money Wins. And he did a great video. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Eric Dexter. Once it hit 30, people will bail out from the long positions. I believe 30 will be a big hump challenge. Yes, indeed, Eric. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for popping in. Sabinator is in the house. Good to see you. Busamio says here today was just to test the waters. Okay, yeah. I could see that being the case too. Testing those waters out. Um, definitely going to continue to trend up, especially with all the doom and gloom worldwide. True that. I think so, too. I'm bullish on them still. Uh, there's just too much going on in the world. And no one is talking about Taiwan now. Uh, there's not. I don't know if there's anything going on in Abidjan and Armenia. You know, I mean, lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Cemetery Shop. Congrats to anyone who completes the Salivate Metal 1 Ounce Gold Challenge. Yes, indeed. Uh, that is so cool. So neat that people are doing that. Uh, Jamie Foxx is here. That's what she said. 
Uh, Elizabeth says, what happened today is nothing less than a criminal behavior. If you believe in the manipulative forces suppressing the price. We'll see. All right. Uh, Israel Rodriguez says, there's so much fun. Let me do this. i got to get back. Okay, here we go. Um, this is so much fun. I've been watching all day. And something told me I was going to, it was going to crash. And as soon as it went down to 27, I bought 20 ounces. Way to go. Congratulations. Buying on that dip. That's cool. All right. Very, very good. Yes, indeed. Ethiopia is still on. I have not even heard of anything about what's going on in Ethiopia. Doesn't surprise me, though. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, yeah, and, and that's just it. Nickel makes a great point. Uh, the Biden administration has decided not to refill the reserve oil reserves. That could come to bite us if we have a real, true emergency and need it. Uh, they're playing with fire there, pun intended. Uh, Medusa Skull, extreme manipulation is weakening and about to collapse. $50 silver by year end is possible. It was still unlikely. I don't even think $40 will come, but hey, I tell you what, we'll be $10 away if we hit just a dollar or two uh, at this point, and then I'll lose a bet where I'll owe 100 push-ups. We'll see if that happens. Uh, silver scientists are expected to pull back sooner, but should consolidate in the back to the bull run. I think it will too. I agree with you. Yes, indeed. Oh, Mark Bernard, people have been having some trouble with power. Uh, around some parts of the country. Crazy. I hope you can get your power back. Yes, indeed. And uh, let's see here. Uh, yep. At Lars Joe, boom. I mean, absolute truth bomb. Pithy truth bomb. I gotta, I gotta pin that comment. That about sums it up. This is, this sums it up to a T. The media message equals selective outrage. Boom! Nailed it with that. That is just uh, dead on. That's 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 really what it's about. Selective moral outrage. That's what they do. It's insane. What a fook, says Scott Wilson. It was insane in the membrane. Indeed it was. And uh, Suraju Ekalaka. Uh, I wish I could... Uh, these darn things. I wish it would give me the, the channel name. Um... Would you add 2024 one ounce Australian Perth Mint's 125th anniversary silver coin you're stacking? Do you think it's worth it to own or is it hype? Thank you for expertise. Uh, they have somewhat of a limited mintage, but there's enough of them that I don't think it's going to be worth too much um, down the road. There's so many of these coins, these modern coins. It's really tough to say. We're almost oversaturated with all the selection out there, although I do like it. So I think you would buy it just as a stacking piece like you would any other Perth Mint product out there. Treat it no differently than any other Perth Mint product. Cool, I've seen the designs on them. They're, they're pretty neat. We had a member of this community that bought, bought a monster box of the silver and five of the platinum. It's crazy. All right, let's see here. We've got Silas Marner, who is not able to do this for some reason. Uh, where is the new floor be? I think the new floor is going to be probably somewhere in the high 26s probably at this point for silver. I don't know about gold. Let's get down here. Let's get down on it. Get down on it. Man, got a lot of comments here. Uh, various things salivate, says Flash Hider. Thank you. On this one, it's called the Tax Day Pullback. All right. Yeah, but they maybe that is what it is. It is getting close to Tax Day. The 15th will be Tax Day. Uh, Bill Granger, thumbs up on it. Thank you. Appreciate that for watching the video here. And uh, let's see here. We've got Silas Marner says, where will the new floor be? I think it's probably be somewhere about $26.50 is where the new floor is for silver. Uh, let's see here. And uh, Common Sense says, they just proved to us that they did not lose control of the market. They could smash silver down any time uh, that any, at any amount, he says here. I'm only surprised it took them this long to do it. Maybe we're, maybe they were on spring break to still. Yeah, maybe so. Well, we'll see. I think it's going to snap right back up there in the Asian markets. That'll be the true, true, true tell, right? If it goes right back up again in the Asian markets. If it doesn't, then that will, there'll be some explaining to do. 
Lucy, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> if the markers don't immediately turn around for the manipulation. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Uh, Dave Subbers, is Israel not stronger than Hezbollah and Iran? Uh, they are, uh, in terms of firepower, but, uh, but the thing is, is it could broaden the war and, and if, if, and, uh, Iran is big enough that it could be a contender, uh, to deal with. So, yeah, and it could be a contender to deal with. Uh, Mad Max says, sorry, this has nothing to do with the subject of the video. But as a Norwegian, that Viking ship coin really piqued my interest. Can someone tell me what it is? Well, no problem. And see, the thing is, I appreciate comments like this. You know, they 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 acknowledge that they're commenting outside of the subject of the video rather than just asking. But even if you just ask a question, no problem. That is the noble. That is the noble. It's a Viking ship noble, and it is from the Pop Joy Mint, I think. And uh, they've been minting those again, but the Pop Joy Mint is now out of business. They went under, but that is what that is. It is the Silver Noble. Beautiful coin. I actually have one of those in high relief, too. They are showed on the channel some time ago. Uh, James Real, the Plunge Protection Team. There you go. Weather well, making sure the plunge is wild day. Yes, indeed, James. Very wild day, indeed. Turkey versus Israel. What would happen? Oh, man. I yeah, don't know, man. That's a good question. I don't know what kind of firepower or military that... Turkey has compared to Israel. And Joshua Kalawar says here, I just bought 510 more ounces. Whoa. The price increase won't deter me. Let's F and go. Wow. 510 more ounces. Man, a monster box in 10 ounces. Hmm. Big test unit is here. Welcome. Good to see you guys with me tonight here as we press on. USA Bank stopped it. A lot of people think, uh, think there's a lot of this price suppression happening. Plunger protection indeed, says Dale. Thank you, Pit Stop Man, for your comment there. Uh, Phil G says, real price of gold should be near 10K and silver 150. I think we'd be in big trouble if it went there. Uh, yeah, Pop Joy Mint, superb. I don't, I don't know why they went, out, went down, but anyways, why they went out of business, but they're competing with Perth Mint, Royal Mint, all these mints putting out of so many different products. It's it's tough. What they should have done is contracted with some of these smaller nations to put some sovereign silver bullion out. Uh, Gordon Pock says, I waited until gold and silver bottomed out late in the trading day to add more shares to my mining stock portfolio. Nice. I considered waiting till Monday to see signs of a trend break, but I figured the odds of Iran striking Israel over the weekend are high which could blow gold to 2,500 and silver strongly through the 30 barrier. And even if Iran doesn't strike before Monday, I figured Asian buyers will jump in on the beatdown prices as a buying opportunity. Boom. I like the way, Gordon, you're exactly, that's good, good synopsis there. A very good synopsis. Uh, expect the price to move higher. Restarts on Sunday night. Well, I hope you will join us to, uh, Sunday night. We'll watch it as they open up for sure. Dean is here in Georgia. The granddaughter's musical. Well, Awesome. Thank you, Dean R. Enjoy the musical with your family. And that is awesome, my friend. Thank you for popping in tonight. I appreciate it. Very kind of you. And I hope you have a good weekend with your family. All right. Uh, Silver Surfer says, I don't think there's going to be uh, the slump either. You can't go wrong owning physical gold and silver. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. And... Agent Smith says, it must have been nice to have enough to afford a stack like Sal's. I only have an ounce of gold and 18 ounces of silver. That's good, though. You know, getting going. And a lot of mine was bought early when prices were much lower. But that's the reward for not selling it, holding on to it. Thanks for the membership gift. Thank you, Andy Maluski. All right, he got one of those. Thank you, Andy. Is Andy still with us? And I appreciate his uh, super chat kindness here. Earlier, user says, I noticed that you have not swapped any gold for silver. Have you considered swapping any silver for plat or platinum? Great show. No, I typically don't do that. I've thought about it to some extent, but uh, I kind of decided against it. I'm just kind of, I've just kind of held on to it because uh, you typically are going to lose a couple ounces if you'd swap one way or the other. Uh, it's a, it's not really to the benefit to do it. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to hold on to my silver. 
hold on to my um you know to my gold uh and platinum dan dan uh, dan dance gold needs to be at 3400 to reach a record value in relation to inflation actually it's about 32 to 3300 but close yep uh, that's in real dollars adjusted for inflation all right, breaking news, everybody. This just came across the bow. Matthew Crustlife has just has just declared his love for me. Thank you, Matthew. He says, I love you. Not you, but me. He says, he's, no, he's saying I love you to all of you guys. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, toe jam. Oh, man, I got some toe jam. I jammed my toe against the, uh, I cussed like crazy. Oh, man, uh, Silver Wolverine is here listening while working. All right, who needs to whistle while you work? Silver Wolverine can listen while he works. He did a great market uh, update video, too, today about a possible big pullback. Check out his channel and video. So, Toe Jam, I don't see a slump either with all these countries still buying gold and silver. Uh, they're warring. Also, keep it up. I think governments will spend more efforts to manipulate prices as CBDCs are turning more to high-dollar transactions and not individual tr daily transactions. Yes, indeed. All right. Okay, so CCT did not lose swapping some of his silver for gold. That way to go. But usually, it's these, these are local coin shops. There are exceptions. Will charge you to do that. You, they, you can't just do it ounce for ounce. But uh, but even if you do charge you, you might be able to make it up with the performance of gold. And I think that's what CCT has done. Thank you, JM. I'll later post a link to Silver Wolverine's channel. Opinions hurt. There's no bad price to pay for silver, unless it's you're at the very top of the market and it crashes. I agree. Uh, uh, Joshua Rule says, better get more. Drops are good, people. Yes, indeed. Good, good old drops. And we've got uh, Dan Dance says here in this video. Let's see here. <clears throat> An ounce of gold today cannot buy what it did in 1980 because of inflation. Therefore, gold and silver have lost value since then. Well, that's because you're picking one period of time. And by the way, that was only a few days, really, at tops where gold's price was that high. And then it came down. Uh, so in reality, gold and silver don't lose or gain value. The price changes. That's really the only difference. But I've gained some value since the price of $1,700 several years ago. But it's hard to keep up with runaway inflation, which is already over 10%. And 10% measured from where, though. But, yep, it all kind of fluctuates back and forth. That's why it's a long-term proposition. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. All right, user on this video says this. Let me get over here to make this efficient. Uh, we watch these things so closely and make predictions, but really, they're mostly a waste of time. Have you seen the big short? Yes. Remember how, how for months the banks manipulated the market uh, and the, kept the price high and stable artificially? Took a long time for reality to squirm its way free. I predict the same will happen here. By the time we see signs, we've already made their getaway. None of these institutions are ran by honest, moral people. That's a good point. Very, very good point indeed. All right. Tom Manley. Iran figured how out this consulate hit was bait. Uh, Israel, a.k.a. U.S., wants a war with Iran, one of the few countries that don't have a central bank. Uh, oh, Iran does not have a central bank. I did not know that. Uh, Mr. Kilroy, buying tons of silver tomorrow morning. I get so excited over this. There you go. Well, it's probably a good opportunity. Uh, no platinum talk, no palladium workout. Poofed. Yeah, yeah. Well, gold and silver has been all the rage as of late, but I've done a lot of videos about um, platinum and palladium, especially platinum. I'm a big platinum bull. I like platinum. And uh, here's this one. From the silent generation says this it's true the federal reserve is corrupt i know because i worked for them for 30 years whoa the silent generation worked for the fed for 30 years the management are all liberal and definitely have an agenda which is very political they lie and have no guilt over it. when i started working there the fed was so proud of the fact that they never laid anyone off in their history so shortly after they retired they wanted to get rid of people they dreamed up consolidation which amounted to the same thing everyone and checks lost their jobs and they moved all the check operations to one fed to the north in ohio you may think this is just a sour grapes on my part but this happened after i retired i was even asked once by a member of management do you really believe that 
you are responsible for the sins of your grandfathers. Uh, was This was their attempt to find out if, if I was a liberal or conservative. Once they knew I was a conservative, I never received another raise or promotion. There are evil people and driven by agenda, not fairness. Boom! Another example. Just bolsters the point. Thank you, Silent Generation. Great comment. I wish I could pin these things from here. It does not let me do that. That's a great comment. Uh, yeah, I wish I could do it. I, it. It won't let me pin it right here. Dang it. I hate this. Uh, but that is a good comment. Very good. All right. Uh, Red Crawler, credit unions are based on relationships. That's true. That is true. I need to really look into credit union for sure. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, Tony. Something came up. Take off. Right, thank you. Thank you, Tony Erickson. I appreciate you being here tonight. Apologize I was reading that comment there. But have a good night, Tony Erickson. Thank you for coming in tonight. Appreciate you so much. Uh, Andrew Makesim says here, so what is the Fed's agenda? I am sorry. I cannot figure out your point. A lot of words that the eagle is beautiful agree, but not much essence about the feds, or I missed the point somehow. Well, it's all sprinkled through it. I mean, it's it's the whole the whole video is about that, Andrew. I would suggest, I tell you what, I'm not going to answer that comment. <clears throat> I want you to watch the video again and just listen, even for the first five minutes or first five seconds, probably you'll be able to get the agenda. Doesn't take long at all to figure out what's going on. Uh, you're the first person that didn't get it. Uh, so just watch the video again. Like you said, you may have been looking at the eagle and not listening, actually listening. So just uh, just do it. It's an important video. Um, Harry Zero. I've not sold silver uh, below the current paper price for over two years. Uh, bought gold with my proceeds, though. Celebrating high prices is plain Adapt as the prices merely reflect current currency weaknesses. Nobody's going to come out better off than when they purchase a metal. It's a very fact that they acquired the precious metal is indicative of previously being financially stable. That's right. In the end, it's not about it's not about uh, winning or losing. It's about maintaining. That's what gold and silver is about. Gold and silver is about mediocrity, folks. It's about mediocrity. <laughs> Matthew Cross Life is commenting without watching. All right. All right. Very good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, well, folks, sadly, I've got to head out here tonight. Um, uh, but anyways, but thank you so much. And yes, Metal Seer, yeah, follow James O'Keefe. And uh, yeah, but you can get the political bias by watching that video too. I tell you what the political bias is all throughout that video. But, uh, but uh, James O'Keefe is going to be releasing more videos about this. He's already released one another one where they actually confront the guy. And that was a great video. Too. So he's going to do more on it, which is good. I'm glad he's doing it. So check it out. Thank you all again for being here tonight. Uh, we'll be back here on Sunday night. Don't forget. And I appreciate you guys so much. Have a wonderful evening. I'm going to leave you with this sage piece of advice. And that is to keep your feet on the stars. Keep reaching for the ground. Thank you guys again. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care.